Well, I've got my first big wedding of the season this weekend. So I try and make myself a jobs list and do as much as I possibly can ahead of time so that I'm not panicking at the last minute. So on the jobs list today, I'm going to be soaking some moss, which I'm using in some big installations because I don't use floor foam. I'm going to be cleaning out some buckets. I've got a load cleaned already, but I just want to make sure I've got plenty. Um, and I've got some milk churns. I just want to give them a quick wash over as well. Um, I've got all sorts of other things too, but that's just for starters. Buckets are cleaned. Uh, trestle tables are out. The churns have been cleaned and the moss has been been soaked and draining. Next jobs will be to fill the buckets with water. Well actually I'll be labelling them up first so I know what's got to go where. So um, I can, I've got everything in an order. All my wonderful foliage has arrived from the Irish Green Guys. Um, and what I now need to do with everything is recut the stems um, so that they can take up the water again um, as quickly as possible. So then they're going to go in buckets of water. I'm just making my mossages right now for my um, floral hoop and I've cut the wire about a foot wide, laid it on with a nice even amount of moss and I'm just going to roll it up to make a sausage or a mossage. Buckets all labelled and foliage sort of sorted to make sure that I haven't forgotten anything. And um, yeah, everything ready for the flowers, which are going to be cut, collected and sorted tomorrow. Let the cutting begin. I missed a day, so um, as filming wise so I'm just playing a bit of catch up telling you what I was up to yesterday it turned out to be quite a busy day um, so I did my bucket already for my font it doesn't look very pretty as it is but this fits really well into the big font at the church I made up uh, all the pew ends so there's going to be there's 16 of these I've been tied in a little bow at the front with flowers in um, so that's all done and ready and uh, collected a load of flowers. Um, uh, Anthea helped me with that and we sorted out all the flowers so we know exactly what's going where. Um, and I popped down to the Marquee in church just to double check a couple of things as well. So let me show you the flowers. Okay, so we have got the buckets of flowers that the family are going to use to make arrangements for the church and for the table arrangements. We've got all the bride and bridesmaids um, flowers and foliage sorted out, buttonholes sorted out. We've got the hoop foliage and foliage balls and we've got all the churns and uh, flower arrangements. Um, yeah, arrangements for the church. And we've got um, some more things that will probably go in the hoop, a few spares, and things for the pew ends there as well. So, kind of fairly sorted out. So, vans are packed. Got 
my lovely friend Caroline helping me and um, yeah we're ready to roll rock and roll down to the church we've got my coffee and biscuits of course special request for the bride guess what her name is um, this smells amazing so this lily of the valley some provided by the family some provided by a friend of mine um, yeah we're going to incorporate those um, just got buttonholes left to do and the first round of the bouquets done I do like to sort of tweak them the day uh, just before and then pew ends all at the ready. Finally, round two of the van pack. So we're heading down to the marquee. Won't put the flowers in uh, today but I'm just taking them down to the marquee. Okay, it's flower crown making now. Um, so I had some fabulous help this morning and a load of wiring has been done. Wiring of these flowers has been done. I don't normally wire that many flowers, but um, these flower crowns are for some, uh, some little girls and they, the flowers are quite delicate. Um, so this morning I was at the marquee making the um starting to make the floral hoop and the foliage balls um, we went to the church um caroline and i to um, oh yeah do a garland at the gate um and just to check on things there um and now i'm just doing the the flower crowns the bouquets are done apart from a bit of tweaking i've got I've done, this is my third flower crown, I've got one more to go. Um, and so as you can see, blue and white, lots of spring flowers. And I'm going to pop this in a bowl of water overnight. And they are absolutely fine. Otherwise, I'm up at silly o'clock in the morning doing this and I don't think that you can sustain that sort of if you're doing that week in week out so yeah I've had fantastic help from Anthea, Steph, Caroline so far and Demelza as well all doing little bits and pieces for me um, so amazing so I'm still hard at it and um, yeah, I'll keep you updated.
it's the morning of the red wedding and last night I made the flower crowns, the buttonholes have all been made, just uh, left in water, ribbons of various sizes have been cut, ready for the bouquets, flower crowns, buttonholes etc. Um, so yeah, just need to start ribboning up now, it's around about half past six. just got home and um, after about oh where are we so about five five hours or so um, since I got up um, and made a start we've got everything out of the church milk churns are out and um, outside the church pew ends are on floral hoops been done at the marquee flower crowns flower girl posies bridesmaids bouquets brides bouquet corsages buttonholes I've already said that um, anyway all the flowers have been delivered so and I'm back home now so just need to unload the van now and then um, go back and collect everything when the party is over and what a wonderful day for a wedding and there's still lots of tidying up to do so after an event there is the clear down so that's what we're doing this morning so um yeah we're going to crack on and take everything down there's churns and all sorts to take home as well and the last thing to do is clean those buckets ready for the next event or wedding <laughs> 